In last week's Film Friday video, I did a review on the Voigtlander Bessa R2A, which is a rangefinder camera. And I promised you guys that I would do a video detailing what the differences are between a rangefinder and an SLR camera, the type of camera that you see in most places. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. But before I start, I want to make a quick note that this isn't a debate on which type of camera is better. They're both tools, they're both really good, and it really depends on who's using it. Different people like using different tools to get the same job done. So again, I'm going to break down the differences and then you guys can judge for yourself. So let's start with the SLR. The SLR is a camera that uses a through the lens system. You see what you get through the viewfinder. So what does that mean? With an SLR, the light comes in through the front of the lens and that light hits a series of mirrors and prisms and then it's reflected out through the viewfinder. So what you're seeing through the viewfinder is actually what the lens sees. So that's TTL through the lens. The rangefinder, on the other hand, isn't a through the lens system. As you can see here, the lens is mounted sort of at the center, almost at the center, and then it hits the film plane or the digital sensor, depending on whether you're using digital or film. And it's, it just has a shutter in between that. So when the shutter opens, then you're going to get your exposure. But what you can see here is that the viewfinder is right over here. It's here on the back, but you see right through it. So when you're looking through the viewfinder, you're not actually looking at what the lens sees. Instead, what you see through the viewfinder is a frame line. And the frame line changes depending on what focal length they're using. And not all rangefinders have frame lines for all focal lengths. This one, for example, has frame lines for a 50 mil, a 35 mil, a 90 mil, and a 75 mil. And you'll need to change that depending on what lens you're using. And those frame lines give you the framing of the shot. But what you get because the viewfinder isn't centered to the lens, it's not what the lens sees, is you get a little bit of parallax error when you're shooting because it's not aligned. There is parallax correction in most range finders, but you'll find that it's not 100% accurate. But what's neat about the viewfinder system of a range finder is that you get your frame lines and you can see beyond the frame line. So you can see outside the frame. This is good for things like street photography or event photography maybe, where you want to see what's going around you and not just what's in your frame so that you can anticipate different shots uh, based on what you see. Focusing is also different from your SLR. Again, you're using this system that doesn't see, let you see through the lens. So instead, how it looks like is it looks like two patches basically. One patch is centered in and it's the actual image that you'll get with the photo. Now the other patch is sort of floating and what you wanna do is align that second patch through focusing and when those two images are aligned on top of each other, that's how you know that the image is in focus. Now this might seem a little bit complicated at first, but it's actually very easy to use and in terms of manual focusing, SLRs and rangefinders. I personally prefer the rangefinder. It's a lot easier for my eyes and it's a lot easier for me to determine what is in focus. Because the rangefinder doesn't use a mirror like your SLR, this is sort of like your mirrorless camera that you get nowadays. Because it doesn't have that mirror, the flange distance is very close. So the lenses are really close to the film plane or the digital sensor, depending on whether you're using film or digital. And what that means is that these lenses can be made to be really small. As you can see, this Leica 35 Summicron right here, which is a version four, for those of you that are interested, is tiny in comparison. And this is an F2 lens. Now, if you see, if you look at the F2 lenses by Canon or Nikon or any other manufacturers, the 35 F2 mil lens, they're very big. They're at least, you know, this big, if not bigger. And they're also a lot heavier, although these ones are made out of full metal, so they are pretty heavy, but they're, in general, they're a lot bigger. So that's another difference, and that's something that I like with, about these rangefinder systems, and mirrorless systems in general, I guess. The lenses are a lot smaller. So I think that's it. Those are really the main differences between the SLR and the rangefinder camera. There might be a few that are sort of exclusive to other brands, like Leica, a lot of Leicas use cloth shutters so that they're very quiet, but you know, this one doesn't have a cloth shutter, so it's a little bit clunky. Um, 
And there are a few other small differences, but that's really the gist of it. That's why rangefinders are different from SLRs. I hope this helped. Some of you might be interested in buying a rangefinder now. This one is a very good camera, so be sure to check out the review of the Voigtlander Bessa R2A. And yeah, subscribe if you haven't yet, like the video, follow Cam Crunch on the social networks, and I'll see you guys in the next one.